This is my kitchen dashboard. This is my home security dashboard. And this is for managing my smart home. I can control my whole home. I can also see tons of information in just seconds. Each one of these dashboards was created in about 10 minutes of work. And honestly, I had fun building them. I've put these on phones, tablets, and even on my PC. They're now changing our family's lives. So I'm so excited to show you these built using Homie's app. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do this too. So let's give her. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and my goal on the channel is to save you time and money on your journey to live smarter. Today, this is truly a smarter way to live with dashboards around your home that serve you and make your life easier. Let's do a quick demo of my kitchen dashboard, which is the most comprehensive one as I've been focusing on building my kitchen into a smarter version of itself. What I have at the top here is different moods or scenes that I have set in my home. So you're going to see the lights over here go red. You can see those there. Now they're going to go purple. Okay, so I can quickly change these scenes and if I want to brighten it up, there I go. Now, I've also included things like the nothing scene, which turns off every light. So this is a one touch button to turn on and off all the lights in the kitchen. And of course, people are going to want to control things like their blinds. You got to love that. And let's say I don't want that in the middle. Well, okay. Let's go in here and right down here, I have a control for that blind. I can make adjustments. I can do it, put it in the middle, wherever I want. Now, this whole time, this speaker has been playing. I can switch songs. I can move along. And this is a Sono speaker, again, sitting right over there. Now, I actually have it in a muted mode so we don't get copyright strikes, but I can take it out of that. You're also noticing control of the main appliances I have in my home. So here's my fridge and I can adjust the temperature set point for the fridge or the freezer. I can go in and change any of the different settings. So here's the craft ice setting. And of course I could do the same thing with my oven and my microwave, although I don't have a lot of settings on those. That's going to depend on your device, but you can see right here, I have another controller. This is for thermostats. I have a thermostat in my fridge. I can hit those little arrows and change the temperature in my fridge. And then right down here, one of my favorite things shows me the garbage schedule. I had to set that up and it's not hard to do. Now, this goes down and I can control other lamps. So I'm just gonna turn up one of my lamps that I have in here, but it also goes left to right. So in the next screen, I wanted to give myself an interface where I could see what was going on in the world a little bit today. So we can see the temperature, we can see the forecast. It says it's snowing, I wonder. This is my Google Calendar. A little bit complex to do, but I have a tutorial for you today. Over here, we can get even more complex, even more detailed, and you can adjust all of this. So here's my fridge, and this is every setting I have on the fridge. I can make those adjustments. Okay, now we're only making three of the craft ice today. And you can see how I can cut that interface way down and make adjustments and I have graphs like this. So you could see all the different data and you can add that for anything inside of this Homey app. Now this is one I've got to show you. I have this little soil sensor right here. Those of you watching the channel have seen that little guy. There's the data coming out of it, but I want to see the trend. So there's my humidity graph over the last seven days and there's my temperature graph. And uh, the temperature looks like it's coming up a little bit. I'm really excited for that one. I'm gonna continue to improve it with more features. Before I go on, I wanna explain what you need to do and what you need to have in your home 
in order to get this done. You're going to need a Homey Pro hub, which is not an inexpensive hub, or you can start with a very small subscription called Homey Cloud. Both of those are going to get you moving with dashboards. You do also then need to add some smart devices into the Homey app. You'll be surprised how many of those you already have around your home, and I have a full tutorial for working with this system and it's not difficult. Those are the caveats, okay? And those of you considering Homey today will wanna see what I think are the very best things. These are at least the things I've found in the last couple weeks. Now, while this does take the Homey app to work, I've appreciated that I've been able to put this on an iPad, an iPhone, on Android, and I even got it onto my PC using a free Android emulator called Bluestacks. I've seen uh, Mac users getting this working fairly easily so you can pretty much put it anywhere. I really like that the dashboards all dynamically resize. And this also means you can flip your phone or your tablet and you'll get more or less columns on the page depending on what you're doing. It also means different format devices can have dashboards built specifically for them. I've also really appreciated the fact that we can scroll vertically as well as horizontally. Uh, you essentially have unlimited space and it seems like you essentially have unlimited numbers of dashboards that you can create. I also really love the fact that every person who has the Homey app on their phone is able to customize the home page just like a dashboard. You just hit the little customize button and start building. You've already seen on the kitchen dashboard that we can add devices, moods and flows. But having those three things available means I can do things like control all of my shades at the same time or individually. It's the same with lighting and I love that we have multiple ways to control all these different elements. The only limitation that I have found in what I can control is what I can bring into the Homey system. If I can bring it in, I can control it. Appliances, lights, shades, my home's router, uh, speakers, televisions, and much more. I just said speakers and televisions. I have my Sonos in there. Amazon speakers can be controlled. There's even options for things like Plex servers. And although I don't use that kind of a system, I know there's a lot of you who do. So entertainment is well in hand. I still have to go buy a couple of TVs for this place, but as I do that, I can see how easy it's gonna to be to build out a full entertainment system and then create easy buttons for movie night or for playing music or even taking a break mid-movie. I really like the custom elements. Things like the weather and the calendar, the clocks, that, that notepad right there. Even things like the trash can app. Those are all additions that I can install on Homey with a couple of clicks. Nothing difficult there and even better, those things don't require you to have smart devices connected to your hub in order for them to work. And it's those things that I think will shock most people into just how customized and useful the dashboard can be. One of the custom widget apps that I installed on here is called Enhanced Device Widget. When I installed that, it gave me three different methods to manage the thermostat inside of my fridge. That sounds insane to me, but they're all on the kitchen dashboard. There's the device, which I can tap into. There's this climate control, which allows me to adjust the fridge set point. And then there is the enhanced device widget, which lets me control every setting and see every detail available to me on that fridge. I can't believe how much there is. And you know, I, I can even change how much ice it makes. This was also really useful with my home's mesh system because I can see all three of those, lots of the info coming from them and that's giving me a ton of good insight. And speaking of which, one of the most useful things in all of this is how much diagnostic information you have access to. And I think one of the dashboards that I'm gonna be building out is one that's going to help me understand where my home loses heat in the winter. We all have those places in our homes that are a little bit drafty. The insights being added to uh, this other page lets me diagnose problems with my network. 
And then I have a little button to reset the whole thing. These kinds of tools let me diagnose issues with my hub or with my plants or with anything that I have connected. And I like that I can put those graphs into dark mode. And if I tap in, I could change the time frame so I can see more or less details. Homey gave us this web frame widget and I used that to put my own personal calendar on these dashboards. Now what's really interesting about this is that I can restrict which tablets and phones can see my personal Google Calendar. And even more interesting is each person can log in to their own email on their own personal device. This gives us a bit of security, but it's also a good way to share things like my calendar with my family. It's a bit of a harder thing to do, but I have a tutorial video for you. I'm gonna share that with you at the end of today. I've already shown you that the moods control or let me fly through all these different lighting scenes and that allows anyone in the room to control the lighting quickly and efficiently. And those things haven't necessarily been hard to share with the other people in my home. But there's always been a few things that I couldn't share with the other people here. Our Christmas lights are pretty advanced at this point. It's been hard to give uh, that control to someone who doesn't want to install a whole app and then learn it. So these dashboards have given me the opportunity to hand anyone this advanced Christmas button. And because homey flows are really advanced themselves, I can make that a toggle. So it's a tap to turn on our very advanced Christmas scene. And now it's a tap to turn it off too. In the end, those of us who build these systems are gonna be able to give anyone access to whatever is in our smart home. And that is worth an incredible amount to families. A lot of dashboards and systems like Home Assistant can be pretty difficult to create and they probably don't have the flexibility that we're seeing here. I don't think I've seen an easier system to build a dashboard off of and I know there's some people that will instantly point out that Home Assistant can be more configurable but at this point I feel like I could hand this to anyone in my family even my mother who's not technical at all. I feel like she could build a panel for herself. It's as easy as you are seeing it. And the difficulty is in getting the things into Homey's app. So as long as someone administers the Homey hub now, building dashboards is actually really easy. Because I kind of run the tech and stuff around here, well, I need a little admin panel. So I've made myself a little admin panel. Again, I can see all of the big things. I can reboot my network and here are my three mesh devices. And it looks like I've got a little problem there. So you know what, let's go check that out. There it is. I have the wide area network disconnected. It's almost like I unplugged uh, that for this demo. But I can see graphs like what my homey hubs uh, CPU is doing this can help me diagnose issues and I have more over here I could see all my alarms or the whole timeline what's going on with my hub and I can even see if I have flows or the automations that this system runs if those are broken or there's problems I'm gonna have to add a tablet at the front of our home with our security panel on it we're going to be able to manage our own security system from that see smart home cameras and recent snapshots from those and we'll also be able to see who's at home we'll be able to manage our main water valve and see things like smoke alarms and leak sensors all that's going to be so beneficial in the future i'm sure i'll add things like the status of windows and doors and We'll be able to see all of that from a single panel anytime. But I don't want people to think the system and this situation is perfect. There are a few things that need a little work. I don't think there's enough cameras that are available in the Homey app. You don't get refreshes of those snapshots happening all the time. So there is a little bit of work to go here. I'd like to see some security on the panels as well. So maybe passcodes or things to get in there. If you're wondering about those kinds of details and you're wondering how you can build this system, we released two tutorial videos 
all ready for you. The first one is a full guide to building dashboards, which will show you how to do everything I produced for my home. The second is that calendar tutorial, which I felt like it needed to be split out from everything else. Uh, it's a little more involved. So check out either of those videos. They're up on screen now. Otherwise, I hope you're excited for your own smart dashboards. As always, thanks for watching, and of course, live smart.